everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation, and in today's video, we are going to talk about drills. We're going to have my trusty demonstrator, Karsten. He will be showing you how to do a drill, and this first video is going to be one of three. And so what we're going to do, if you are not currently subscribed, hit the subscribe, hit that notification so that you can see parts two and three and be sure to check out throwing chain reaction system in the link below. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to do drills 101. And the first thing that we want you to understand is how do you do drills? Most people are doing drills and they kind of have arbitrary movement. And what we want to do is give you a couple of simple tips that are going to help you to understand exactly how to do drills and how to get the most out of drills. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have Carson set up. We're going to set up this orange cone will be his six o'clock. And so this will be his 12 where he'd be starting his throw. And so what we're going to do is when we do drills, we want to understand that the first thing that we're going to do is set alignment. So what we're going to do, let's have them start with power position, which will be pillar five and six in our throwing chain reaction system. So he's going to set up his throw. Now, the thing that we're going to talk about here is that we're going to do what we refer to in the throwing chain reaction is a stack. So we're going to go foot, knee, hip, pec. You see how he's here. And now we're going to have him create that angle, which he already did. He kind of sets, he's going to go into more of a squat. And the key thing that we're focusing on here is setting alignment, right? Then we're going to set up the right sequence of motion. And that's how we want to be basically be doing our drills. Now, real important thing is we notice how we set this up because I'm going to have Carson rotate now into his finish off of, on his delivery leg. And notice because we set him up and we aligned him, it becomes very easy for him to train the right motion. So a couple of things, we look at this camera, we want to keep Carson's shoulders, everything nice, level shoulders, level hips. We want to maximize his radius and we're going to basically, like I said, set him up. So when we're looking at drills and we're setting up simple things like a power position, so I'm going to have you go back to the start. So when he sets up, you notice how we're creating this angle, double loaded legs. Now everything rotates around and into the direction of throw. Go ahead. And he was going to come around again. Okay. So we would be teaching him this again, as we call our pillar five, six, we are going to be trying to teach him how to set a stack and we're going to be working pillar five, six, because there's a whole bunch of stuff. And that's why we break the power position into two pieces. And so now again, when he goes back, now what we're going to do is have him go through a half turn. We're going to go through the start of the throw and then you're going to see alignment and setting up his chain reaction. So we're going to do what we call as our a modified wheel or a half turn. So he he's going to notice notice how he set up. He set his foot here. This is going to be similar to where he would be setting up at the back of the ring in a full throw. Oftentimes one of the big mistakes that a lot of young throwers make is that they're putting this foot over here so they're setting up the wrong path. Therefore the alignment's off, therefore the drill is always going to be off. So from here what we're going to do is have him go arms up and he's going to be working the lower body. Now, remember inside the throwing chain reaction system, we go through and this is going to be pillar three, four, five, six. And so what he would be working on is we're going to be again, setting up alignment. Now notice he's got that nice shaky leg. He hasn't been doing a lot of drills this summer. So he's got this left hip socket on top of his knee. Now he's going to push off that left push back into that same position we were just in before. So go ahead. And now he's learning how to come here. And what we want him to do is learn how to stay on top of the axis. So again, we have everything stacked up and now everything's going to rotate into the finish again. Okay. So now what we're going to do is have him go through a full throw real quick. So go ahead. We're going to set up positions. And again, the big tips that we want to understand when we're doing a drill is we have to set the right position, right? We want the right alignment and we want to set up the chain reaction. So now when we do something, I'm just going to have him go through a full throw. So go ahead. He's just going to kind of walk through the whole throw and he's going to feel himself come through. And now you're going to see that. Now, one of the things that he tends to do is he tends to pull down. So when we drill, we want him to stay again, level hips, level shoulders. But remember the key is we're going to be setting position. So the first rule to doing drills correctly is understanding the proper position to be in and understanding how you're going to be able to put yourself in those positions. So again, from a stand throw to a wheel, any of our progressions, we have multiple types of drills. We have basically position drills and we have throwing drills. 
And so here, if we just have him do, let's do a block leg extension and twist drill. Okay, so Carson's gonna set up and one of the key things is to watch. So here, he's a good example. He's been one of my athletes in, in high school. He's now a division one thrower. And so look at the position of his foot. We wanna have this foot facing nine o'clock. And remember, when we position our athletes and we're doing drills or athletes and coaches, you're always the center of the clock. It's real important. So when he stands here, his foot's at nine. So that doesn't mean if he had a shorter base, his foot would be turned back. So I want this foot directly to nine o'clock. So he's gonna be kind of here and the foot's gonna be there. He's gonna set his angle, set his stack. He's gonna drop in. And now he's gonna feel a block leg extension, twist here, lower body moves the upper body. And you're gonna see when we do the drills with him, he has a tendency to wanna pull. He's been upper body active. And so what we wanna do is go back, we're gonna set it up and he's gonna set this. So he's gonna hold his upper body. He's gonna, he's gonna wind. So he's gonna set himself so he has the tension. Now his block leg goes first and the delivery leg goes second, block leg extension and he twists through, okay? and he's gonna be coming through. So he's a little forward, you notice here. So we'd keep him shoulders on top of the hips, block arm coming down just a little bit. So we want the block arm coming down, not the shoulder coming down. So here's the point. When we do drills, we're gonna set up the position, we're gonna set up what we call as our chain reaction and set up the right sequence of motion. You notice there was a little bit of a foot position. What he was doing really well is setting up the stack. He understands that position, but then he has a tendency to pull the upper body. So when we're doing drills, we wanna understand set alignment because when we're setting alignment, setting up the right action and we understand the sequence, we're gonna be able to move better and we're going to pattern better. In the next video, what we're gonna do is kind of talk about a little bit more details on um, going through some positions and creating strength. And then our third part of, the, of how to get the most out of your drills, we're gonna be talking about going through full walkthrough, which we touched on a little bit here, but we're gonna give you a basic sequence that's gonna help you set up and train your footwork positions better. So thanks for watching you guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, uh, throw a comment in the comment section, anything you'd like to see. Be sure to check out our throwing chain reaction system in the links below, upcoming events, etc. And we'll see you guys on the next video.